Hey everyone, this is Sumlock24 and uh, before we go any further, I want to remind you uh, to keep your phone vertical and click that full screen icon on the bottom right. Now today I have an, inc an insane deck and I haven't seen anyone play it and I don't know if I already, someone already came up with it, but uh, I want to go ahead and take credit for it because I haven't seen it, but if, <laughs> if someone out there already did it or someone already uh, created it, then I guess it, it goes to him, but uh, anyways... Let me show you where I'm at with the event because uh, all of you or uh, some of you uh, want to see my progress on that. And I've already completed the four million. I actually completed it just uh, like a minute ago uh, after I got done uh, doing a uh, recording on my replays. So, and then for the rewards, uh, I think I've well, I've actually already traded in some SRs, but uh, I do have a copy uh, uh, of three of each card now. Uh, so that's that and I've been farming with the uh, Cerberus deck and I've actually been quite successful with it uh, even though the like the the win rate I'm gonna say it's like around 60 60 percent ish and um, But it works and you can farm with it. So as long as you play enough, you shouldn't have any problems All right, so let's get to the deck. This deck is completely completely insane and I, I only lost one game and unfortunately I forgot to click save replay for, for that last game, but uh the game that I lost was against a uh, 3SD, and he was playing Buster Blader with a... It was like a fusion Buster Blader with a Paladin, and he just went all off in the first turn, and then uh, he just uh, won in that in that first turn, because I went first, and then he did that, and, and I lost after that, and I didn't draw an enemy controller. So, if you go against 3SD, the, it's, uh, most of the time you'll win, because you have enemy controllers, and enemy controllers like the worst thing to... Uh, to, to uh, like it's the best thing to counter and is the worst uh, to play against when you're playing 3SD. So the deck is completely ridiculous and it's insane and that's the only game I've played and I've been playing uh, this deck uh, for a while. And I'm playing two Feng Huang and um, what this card does is it says it cannot be special summoned. They're in the end phase of the turn. This card is normal summon or flip face up. Return it to the hand. So it's a spirit monster. When this card is normal summon or flip face up, destroy all set spell uh, and trap cards you're playing controls. And that effect is amazing. It just destroys everything that your opponent sets. And uh, I'm not uh, I'm not sure if it doesn't allow him to change. I think it, it does. But uh, most of the people that have, or maybe it might be a bug. Because everybody that I've been using the effect on uh, hasn't changed anything. Uh, I think it, it may it may be a bug. Uh, I've hit some um, some enemy controllers and they're not chaining them, so I don't know what's going on with them, uh, with that. But I'm playing two of them and uh, I'm waiting for uh, to, for the card trader to have a third one, and I've been waiting forever. And I was waiting for for the third one to go ahead and release the deck, but uh, it seems like I'm not gonna get it anytime soon. So I went ahead and uh, made the deck anyways. And then I'm playing one Dust Knight. I wanted to play another Twin Headed Behemoth, or to start with, originally I was playing two Twin Headed Behemoths. Uh, but I traded one of them out because you only can activate the effect once for a dust knight and then I am playing one twin headed behemoth uh, and then this card is completely ridiculous and if you know how to play with it uh, you can destroy a ton of monsters with it and what it does is each time a spell card is activated plays one spell counter on, on this card when that spell counter, uh, card resolves this card gains 200 attack for each spell counter on it you can remove two spell counters from this card and target one monster on the field and destroy that target. So that effect is insane and it allows you to, uh, if you have uh, enough spells, it allows you to just completely wipe out the entire field. And the spells that your opponent activates also counts towards it. So you always have spells and that's the reason I'm only uh, running spells and no traps. And then I'm uh, running the three, uh, a Mary Lee's and the only reason I'm running is to tribute uh, for the... Uh, for the magical marionette and to tribute for the Feng Huang. So I'm playing one plant Pathfinders and I was running three at the beginning and that wasn't working out so I just uh, dropped it down to one so uh, I can search out for the mausoleum and then I'm playing two double summons. Uh, the two is really good. I, I think I, I wouldn't run another one because every now and then even that two it's still kind of cloggy but you're still heavy now and then just activated uh, activated just to get the counter so uh, it's all right and then we're playing three mausoleum of the emperor and this card is uh, i don't want to use insane again it's just amazing uh <laughs> what it allows you to do with this deck you can uh, blow up the back row you can also blow up monsters with a marionette's effect i mean it's 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 just good and then we're running one monster gate monster gate is uh ridiculous too because you can go into a marionette or two uh, yeah. 
uh, maybe something else if you have a Mary Lee's and then you can double summon and then activate Mary Lee's effect and um, in the graveyard so it's really good and then we're running three enemy controllers and enemy controllers I, I don't need to <laughs> talk anything about it because it's an enemy controller just wins games but uh, the skill I'm using is restart um, I might try balance uh, I don't know uh, restart has worked well so far but I haven't tried any anything else yet so uh, maybe uh, 3SD might work with it uh, as well so uh, <laughs> I'll have to try it uh, maybe tomorrow and see how uh, how well 3SD works with uh, with this deck, which I'm guessing uh, really good. But uh, let's get into the replays. Uh, dual replays. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, press pause here just in case uh, my video gets corrupt or anything. I still have my uh, my intro. All right, so first we're playing uh, against a Weevil Underwood, and uh, I think this Weevil. Well, you'll see, I think he almost had me, but uh, it, it, it turns out uh, <laughs> in my favor at the end. And uh, let's see the replay. Right, and all these are ranked, and they're like, um, I haven't played that much rank. I think they're like low, really low rank. Um, I think it was silver, maybe? I'm not entirely sure. But I haven't uh, had that much time to play rank, but I need to start because uh, of the rewards now. Alright, so I'll go ahead and activate Restart because I didn't get any Tribute Monsters. Alright, so I get a Feng Huan and I get a Coliseum and I get a Behemoth also. Alright, so he goes first, I draw, get a Marionette, so I summon. And here was, okay, I was expecting the, the that Fire Spellcaster one, but it was a Big Shield Gardener. So I was unfortunate. And he activates Burning Land and I'm going to take another 1000 for the Parasite and then uh, he does put a Mask on it, so... Next turn, I uh, get uh, the Parasite, Parasite's effect, they take a thousand, and I decide to tribute the Behemoth, so I want to take another 500 for the Mask, uh, and then I activate Enemy Controller to switch out the Garner to Attack Mode, and then I activate the Colosseum to put another counter on the Marionette. Uh, Marionette has two counters, now I can activate the effect and destroy the Phase Down, and then I attack the Big Shield Garner for 1900 damage. Burning Man kicks in, takes, he takes 500, and another Mask comes in. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and tribute the marionette so I don't take the 500 and I will attempt to attack, but he could sphere Karibos. Alright, so that's, I guess that's fine. And here I, th I thought if he had, if he draws a burn card, uh, that, that would be game. Uh, but unfortunately he, he didn't draw it, so I still have 400 uh, attack. And I, I I was thinking about just attacking with that Marilise and the, and the Parasite for 600 and then he would take 500 damage. But then I opted to go ahead and tribute for the... Uh, for the bird, and he didn't counter enemy control, not sure why, and that's the, the bug that I was talking about earlier. That uh, the people that I'm using it against, it, I'm not sure if it's a bug of not being allowed to uh, chain enemy control or what it is, but uh, that already happened like three or four times uh, with me playing the deck. Right, the next thing uh, for the load. I'm playing against a My Valentine with, uh, I think, Harpy's Hunting Ground. And I'm going second. Yeah, Harpy's Hunting Ground. Alright, so I drew a really good hand to start out with. And he didn't set in, uh, like, set any back or anything, so I just decided to set the... that does not activate the, the Knight. Send the Mary Lee's to the graveyard. Activated Mary Lee's and then uh, summon Feng Huan and it destroys the back row and unfortunately here I hit a, uh, hit a tornado and tornado activates and it destroys the, the, the bird and I still can attack with 14 and then I set the enemy controller. I think he didn't draw anything and I activate Colosseum to summon Marionette. Pay a thousand, summon Marionette and attempt to attack but he wins storms which is fine I guess. He activates uh, my... my <laughs> My Coliseum and then summons his, uh, his dragon, attacks the marionette. Uh, my turn, activate it again, summon the bird, destroy the back row. And here I destroy, <laughs> order to charge, I enemy control to take his dragon and attack for game. <clears throat> so he, I'm guessing he didn't uh, like, do that good, but uh, oh well, it's a win for me.
Alright, the next one's against Seto Kaiba. Alright. I don't really remember that uh, much about this uh, uh, this replay, but let's let's see what happens. Alright, so I'm going second, I guess. That's that's fine. Uh, ideally, you want to go first because you want to set up a knight or you want to set in uh, uh, a Mary Lease or uh, have something to set up a tribute for the turn afterwards. I go ahead and activate Restart and I get a Marionette and I get a Double Summons, which is... <laughs> I should have kept the first turn. Alright, so I get an, uh, an a Mary Lease and an enemy control, so I just set set. And he didn't attack. I, I don't know why he didn't attack. I guess he was afraid of the back row, so... Activate double, double summon and activate a Mary Lisa's effect to get another marionette out. And then activate enemy controller to get another, put another counter on my marionette. And then the counter on the marionette activates. I destroy the face down, I think. Yep. I destroy the face down. He's security orbs. And it was an exploder dragon. I'm glad I destroyed that. He's security orbs again. And on that, I, I can't do anything else. But uh, he's down to one card. And then the one he draws to two, he sets another monster. And here I'm just uh, I'm seeing good because I can activate double summon just for the uh, for the spell to gain a counter on my marionette to make him 22 and then I attack with defense. And here I was I thought it was another exploder dragon, so I just went ahead and attacked with the uh, the behemoth. And here I just attack. I think that uh, was game, yeah. <coughs> Alright, so the, the deck so, so far has been doing great, and uh, like I said, I've only lost one game so far. I'm, and uh, let's see, the next one's against another My Vantine. And this My Vantine was, uh, I don't know what she was doing, because she had a uh, life point uh, boost uh, beta, I think, or the one where she gains uh, 1500 and then just draws three, uh, three cards. So I don't know what's going through that player's mind, but uh, I wouldn't want that. Or maybe she's uh, that player is just trying to level up mine. Doesn't harp, uh, have harpy something ground that I don't know. Life from uh, boost B. Yeah. All right, so I draw a uh, decent hand. So summon Pathfinder, activate effect to get Coliseum. It's a mausoleum, not Coliseum. Mausoleum's effect. Double summon to summon the marionette. And here I actually prejudged <laughs> the other player's skill level, and I just decided to go ham because uh, if she's playing that, that that skill, and that's not bashing on her or it or her or, or him, but if you're playing that skill, you're not gonna be playing anything good, or you don't have the experience to know not to play it, because card advantage is everything in this game. So that was a quick little victory. And playing against anyone else, I don't think I, I would have done that move. I would have just waited a couple of turns. But uh, seeing that he was playing the, that skill, I just went ahead and uh, and just went all out. All right, and then the last one for today, I think. Uh, I'm going to have more replays uh, of this deck for you guys because I'm just enjoying it way too much. I'm going to have more replays tomorrow. And I'm going to be trying out uh, trying it out with more uh, with different skills and see how well it works with that. Oh, I think this is, um, uh, what was it? I was playing a berries on this one. Then I decided to take out the berries for a, uh, what was it? Uh, I can't remember what it was, but this was the, the one of the first builds that I, that I had. Uh, he's uh, attacks my, my Mary Lee's, I activate Mary Lee's effect. Summon the Firebird and then destroy the background and attack over it. And then I set an enemy controller. Alright, 17, I decided to go ahead and enemy controller that because I don't want to take a 17 just in case like, I draw a, uh, a mausoleum, I have the life points. And then here I actually double summons with the Marylees and then I can summon the, the Marionette and then attack over that. Okay, Mary's effect, I get another Marionette, I think. Yeah. And playing against uh, Yami Yugi it's, uh, <laughs> to get that the extra 200 boost with uh, with Yumi or Yami out on the field. 
Got a mausoleum. I hear I uh, went ahead and just activated mausoleum so I can get the bird out uh, and just use its attack. And then attack for game. All right, so uh, that's gonna be it for today, and uh, I do highly suggest that you do try this deck out. It's uh, it's completely insane. Uh, I highly recommend it, and uh, you'll get a ton of uh, of wins with it. Uh, if you don't have the Monster Gate, you can go ahead and replace it for literally any other spell card. It, it it's not as or you don't see it as much, so anything else is fine. Maybe uh, I don't know, just any spell you can you can put in in its place. Uh, everything else I think you do need. The Pathfinder isn't as useful either. You can replace that uh, too if you don't have it. Uh, although the orders, uh, the double summons you do need, I think. Uh, you do need the three copy of the Mausoleum of the Emperors. And then uh, on this one, um, I don't know, you, you can get away with two, I think. Or uh, I'm not even sure how three would work. So if you do want to run three, just run it and let me know how it works out. But for now, the, it, see, the deck seems to be running good with um, with two. Uh, everything else, the, the enemy controllers, you can switch them out for um, for spheres, but it won't be as effective because the enemy controllers are spell ca uh, spell cards. Uh, or you can maybe try maybe half shots, and that'll give you an extra counter. Maybe um, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, the deck is like, extremely good. Go ahead and give it a try and let me know how it works out for you. And uh, uh, if you are enjoying my content, I do highly suggest that you do subscribe. If you enjoy this video, go ahead and I would uh, leave a like. Just I would truly appreciate if you leave a like. Uh, and then if you dislike it, go ahead and leave a dislike and let me know why it is that you're disliking it. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.